So it's been a good 14 days or today's the 14th day of me actually doing project 9 minute video and yeah it's been really cool really, been really fun and I have probably learned a lot I have notes here on what I'm going to talk about because in this video we're going to talk about I'm Josh V Castro you beautiful gorgeous person you and in this video like I said I, I'm really trying to make that yeah but you know since there's no edits it's just straight like okay yeah you know what I'm talking about no anyway we're going to be talking about my 14 days we're gonna, it's like an update video basically per se like I said in yesterday's video when I talked about gratitude uh, I'm going to do a you know 14 day video update you know, to see if there's actually progress or if I made any sort of improvement at all dur during these 14 days of making these 9-minute videos per day. I missed a day though, but that happens to the best of us. So, unfortunately, that's what we're going to be doing today. So, what I've noticed is, you know, on my on my notes right here is I say you know a lot. Alright, so you know, like every time I'm lost in thought or I'm thinking of something or I want to prove a point and you know and then so I say that a lot. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing so but I think it's an interesting thing to it's probably a habit of mine that I could probably fix to a certain extent and if I can actually you know accomplish that by just you know I think it, it comes to the grasp of the topic all right, so if I have a thorough grasp of the topic or whatever I'm talking about, like something that I really, that's recently something I've learned and I've been learning through a long series of time, then I probably stray away from the you knows, the ums, the so's. I don't really think I say so a lot. I say um sometimes, but I think I say so when it's more relevant, but not a lot, I think. All right, I did watch, you know, tort. 12 of my past videos, not all of it, in times two, and I just, you know, jump, 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 you know, skip. I just, you know, I just watch them, and I, this is why I have notes. <laughs> also, I noticed that at the start of the video, it just, it loops, no, it's like a graph, right? So, if this is a graph right now, right? so, I don't know if you can see it right here, but it basically, this is the start of the video, it goes this way, and then it slowly slopes down. I think that's because I run out of ideas to think about, to talk about. Because I'm like, I, when I go into these videos, I just talk about whatever the topic is. Say, gratitude, alright? So yeah, and then there's a the thing when I talk about gratitude. Or uh, say, say for example, the example is gratitude. And I say that top, the word a lot. I'm like, so the, gratitude. I'm like, so if I forget something or if I'm actually thinking... Then I'll just loop back and just say, okay, so gratitude is this. And then I probably paraphrase the same concept, the same topic. Then I'm just looping back around trying to make sure that I prove my point, which does buy time. But again, you know, when you think about it, watching a nine minute video, that's not highly, you know, something that can capture the audience. Then, you know, you have to make sure that they don't click away. It's not that easy to do, honestly. I'm like, even I have a sometimes trouble watching my videos the fifth time around because you know i watched them a second time around and a third time around and at times two speed because you know it's faster the way it saves more time i'm probably gonna make a video on that someday probably tomorrow all right or no actually i was thinking about critical thinking and on the topic of critical thinking critical thinking there's a lot of critical thinking going on <laughs> with these videos because like i said i go into these videos with no notes no normally i just think of an idea or if ever I had an idea yesterday on the video before, then I'm just going to go about and do that. And then I don't really go and do research or watch videos to refresh my mind on said topic. I just want to go in here fresh with whatever understanding I have on said topic as of that moment of recording. So that's my mindset when making these videos. And I am not good at making examples. All right. That is something I've noticed. I'm like, I, there was a video where I, I made an example out of laundry. You don't want to do your laundry? Then <laughs> go hire someone else or go get, let someone do it for you. I'm like, yeah, but it wasn't really as... Yeah, it didn't capture me. All right. So if it couldn't capture... Well, it, to a certain extent, it made the point go out. It made it... I made the point go through but as much as I wanted to make a better example then that would have been also cool and there's also times where I actually miss certain key points that I had in my head prior that's why you should take notes I do have a system uh, on notion because I use notion for my videos it's a good it's a good uh, it's a good app um, 
that actually okay that actually i just dropped my pencil <laughs> that actually what um has a section where what i should talk about you know it has a script yeah but those are for normally you know one week a week one week a video a video per week type of thing you know because this is a nine minute project so this this is more free so i don't really use that so you know that's all, that's on me but you know again this is all a working process this is all something to keep in mind and you know if you are watching this and you know you plan to be a content creator and you know do something like i'm doing i'm like you know be on youtube then yeah this these are the things that you have to probably take into account especially if you want to give a high value production video but then in order to do that you have to hone a skill practice a skill hence why i started project nine hashtag project nine minute video is you know especially for on camera presence but i think i feel right now i think i'm more comfortable looking at the at you guys all right you know so i imagine that you know th this lens is you and i'm talking to you i'm like looking you right in the eyes but honestly i'm just looking at the middle of your forehead because that's what you normally do when you talk to people because you know if you look into their eye you're gonna be looking at one of them and it just looks weird uh, you know I, I was taught to look at the middle of the forehead anyway uh yeah so yeah there was there's bad habits i think i say sometimes too uh, i don't know that's probably to express something but that's something that i also want to get rid of and it's still there <laughs> it's it's uh, still there so like i said before going into the topic at hand uh, i'm really you know it's like i said it's that slope i i can honestly just go about it but then when it comes to the like the end part or the midway point it just falls off a little bit and then it's just a slow decline from there and it's hard to bring that back up probably i should take a break between these nine minute videos <laughs> and no probably not yeah but you know the thing with these videos is it's only nine minutes long it only takes nine minutes to record it's not that hard to make especially when you have a idea at hand you just have to keep talking to the camera just talk and talk and talk all right try to you know bring out everything that can be of value to you guys and you know all the knowledge you have stored in your noggin in your head and just bring that out and then you know just hopefully it just comes out the way you want it it's like cooking cookies you know especially if you don't know how to cook cookies you put it in the oven and you wish for the best but the upload process of this is fairly long. I said in a different video, forgot which one, uh, that you know this whole YouTube video process, you know, from recording to uh, publishing it on YouTube live, it takes about an hour. All right, at first it was two hours, and then as I slowly got used to it, because you know if you you do something for fourteen days straight, well not straight, I missed a day, I did miss a day. All right, you get used to it. So, yeah, an hour. I'm like, you know, a video that only took an hour to make, there's not going to be that much production value out of it. All right, there's there's no B-roll, no jump cuts, no editing, no removing the arms. It really forces you to do something. And it's also not an excuse to make a video if it's only one hour a day. Honestly, if this was just a true nine-minute video, once this is done, put it on YouTube, I'll call it a day. I'm like, that's nine minutes. But no, I... You have to think of thumbnails and so there's a whole process that goes to it if i can drop that down to probably 40 minutes for this type of format type of video then or 30 that'd be cool but you know i think an hour is about reasonable you know it justifies everything that i do with this video. so this is a quick update for 14 days so we're gonna do another one at the end of the series hopefully you guys found this valuable and I'll see ya next one tomorrow bye